open road. This is coming into its element. This is really waking up. What on earth is going on? Hi guys, I'm Shmi, hello and welcome back to the channel where today I am back with Team Carnage and Hyper NFT to drive this, one of the 10 Apollo IEs. We are going to wake up California with this car's V12. It is about the ultimate. This one is nicknamed the Carbon Dragon with the full carbon fiber bodywork. But we're out here in California, in Orange County. We've been taking a look around here at Carnage HQ. We've got some of the other cars, the Huayra BC over that away. We've been out for a drive in the Bugatti Chiron 110 and the Koenigsegg Agera RS. But this, this is like something so different. It is going to be so crazy. Let's have a quick look at this thing. Then we're going to get it started. It is going to be deafening in here. And then it's going to be time to go take it on out and to go and have a drive in the Apollo IE. We are standing then here in this warehouse that is about to undergo transformation. In fact, at the moment, up that way, we have the Pro Drift Team Vipers, of which Hyper NFT is, of course, the flagship sponsor. And over this side, we have Hyper's Hypercars, including this, which has very kindly allowed me to take out for a quick run today. And I cannot say thank you enough because I know already what this is going to be like. I have been lucky enough to drive one on a track before with my friend Mike in the Red Dragon at Spa Francorchamps. And I've actually joined also Barry Skolnick with the Orange Dragon in Miami for a passenger run. This will be the third Apollo IE I've been out in of the 10 customer cars. Plus we've chased the prototypes before on the channel, but this is the Carbon Dragon. Full carbon fiber bodywork, as you can see. It is a car that is designed based on animals and insects and nature with all of these crazy shapes. It is unbelievable to actually look at with all of the angles all of the different aero things that are going on full carbon body super lightweight in fact it's only 1250 kilos for the final engineering apollo actually teamed up with hwa a spin-off from amg and a photo back in germany to go through all of the final parts of the process to get this thing ready back here you have a 6.3 liter naturally aspirated v12 that makes 800 horsepower and 760 newton meters you have a six-speed hewland sequential gearbox which which is going to be unbelievable. The doors open upwards, gullwing doors to reveal this interior. Check this out. The pads are all directly part of the carbon fiber tub. You are sat quite literally with your ankles above your hips in this seating position. Very F1 single seat race car. You've got this cut off at the top of the steering wheel. Everything about it screams drama, excitement, madness, mayhem, chaos. And that is what it is going to be now. I know driving this around, we will try to get somewhere close to the 9,000 RPM red line. It's going to be a head turner. It's going to make a whole lot of noise. So let's go grab the keys. And let's do this. Before we go, before we go, come and have a look back here. This wing is massive. You have that spine that runs all the way down from the roof snorkel back here. Down below, look at the exhaust system. Look at the shape of this exhaust system back here above this crazy diffuser. The whole design is out of this world. There's nothing like it. There's nothing else like this. It's a modern era. I don't know, CLK GTR or something, just in terms of exclusivity, 10 customer cars sold before they were all made. It's iconic. It's, it's so unbelievably out there. Right, off to get the keys, then let's get it started. Let us get this started. So one foot in, kind of sit on the door sill, then slide in, swing in the second leg. The seating position is fairly ridiculous. I'm not gonna lie. So, one pull of this to get the pumps priming. We've got the screens illuminated with the cameras. Wait for the dash, wait for everything to be kind of ready to rock and roll. Now with the dog box, I've got a clutch pedal. So foot down on clutch and brake. And ready for this, let's start it up. What on earth? What on earth, the sound of this. And my seating position is just absurd as well. All right, let's get this moving forwards.
this is it then. We're on the road in the IE, and not only that, Dean is actually driving the McLaren Senna in front of us, Hyper Senna, and yeah, we're in this. And I tell you what, I'm gonna be completely honest here, it's very, very hard to drive. We have this literal race gearbox. You have a clutch pedal, and pulling away is not easy. It's not easy in the slightest. You have to basically clutch in, into gear, get ready to go, but be so gentle lifting the clutch, so gentle. And obviously you're sat in this completely alien, literally looking at it, cockpit of a car. We've got the low sun towards the end of the day. And I'm a little bit like lost slash overwhelmed. I actually felt more at home on the racetrack than on the road. It feels so close to race car. That's why I reference like modern day CLK GTR because well, HWA who were responsible for lots of this were responsible for that and it feels so raw. And as you can tell, it is so loud and so many vibrations and so hardcore. Super gentle with the clutch, super gentle with the clutch. Right, there we go. Until it throttles in and we're good to go. <laughs> that kid's just looking out the window like, what? I tell you what though, once you're going and you have a cacophony of noise, it's actually quite smooth. The shifts are cleaner than I expected. It just needs to be on the go. You either need to be accelerating or braking. God, the sounds are so ridiculous. I mean, the center is ridiculous. You look at that thing on the road, and in a normal world, that is as crazy as cars can get. But today, We've got this following, right, there we go, that's neutral. So neutral and reverse are here on the steering wheel. Like a race car, you press N for neutral. We're going firstly to a gas station. Right, gentle on the clutch, gentle on the clutch. Gentle, 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 gentle for the pull away. Obviously this is geared for driving hard, driving really hard. It's so loud. When I say waking up California, you can probably hear this from the other side of California. People in San Francisco probably know that you're driving this in Los Angeles. <laughs> but here we are in the Carbon Dragon in the afternoon sunset. What are those sounds? Everybody around must just be like, what am I looking at? Because people don't know what this is. People who know cars don't know what this is. I'm learning it. I'm having to learn it. I feel like it's quite intimidating to get started with in this kind of environment. When you try and drive it as a road car, that's where it's genuinely overwhelming with what you're trying to take in at the same time. When you drive it on the racetrack, you just go in with race car mentality. But in here, you get all of these different, I guess, vibrations and shakes if you're not necessarily on the power or off the power. It's really hard to drive gently, really hard. And we can coast in in neutral. I can't get my head around this thing. I think we're about to try and change lanes. <laughs> it's gonna make life difficult. <laughs> Visibility, um, challenging. We do have these mirrors, but they're not particularly easy to use. <laughs> and you're sat quite centrally in the tub as well. So now I've got to deal with pulling away and moving lanes. Oh gosh. <laughs> this doesn't feel very normal right now. This doesn't feel, like everybody cranes their necks as they drive past, everybody, because it's so unusual. Okay, we're good. We're heading onto a highway, a freeway. <laughs> Like I said, I don't know how better to describe this than saying it's kind of overwhelming with what's going on. It's one of those, if you don't know exactly where you're driving and exactly what you're doing, distractions are not good. Distractions make it very, very, very hard. And it's so loud. It's so phenomenally loud. Gosh, it's so difficult. It's so difficult. The fact that it's a busy afternoon with loads of traffic around 
doesn't exactly help right now. We've just had a bit of a, a fuel stop to stick some of the good stuff in here, 101 octane. I guess it's no longer really wake up California. It's now don't go to sleep. The sun is setting, but hey, I'm not complaining. Hopefully things are gonna go a little bit more smoothly for me now, as I lift off the throttle a little bit too aggressively. driving. This is a full-on experience. This is not just driving a car down the road. Okay, I'm feeling a little bit more confident, a little bit more comfortable with driving the IE. It's taken some getting used to. It's taken some learning. <laughs> but a sunset drive down towards Newport Post in Orange County. I think this is the most aggressive car that I've ever driven. Should I give them a full airfall? Those burbles, it's amazing inside how much you hear the gearbox making all of its crazy sounds drop it into neutral oh this is cool in the mirror here just see the center as it cools by and then comes alongside us <laughs> wow <laughs> carefully does it <laughs> really carefully does it there we go Now that I've got the hang of this more, I feel much, much better. Look at that sunset. Beautiful. open road this is coming into its element this is really waking up <laughs> what is this what on earth is going on i can't believe this down towards the pacific ocean This is one of the most beautiful parts of the country, if not the world. And I'm driving in one of the most outlandish cars in the entire world. I'm not sure how many of the crackles that you hear on the liftoff, but now, when I lift off, there's all sorts of noises happening. There's an A12 coming past. A12 GTS, as you do. <laughs> Welcome to Newport, following a BMW iX as well. I mean, there are lots of nice cars around here. I think it's the wealthiest county in the country, Orange County, California. The density and concentration of these kind of cars, and I've driven down here before in a Regera, in a Zagato shooting brake, and like some ridiculous cars, some absolutely ridiculous cars. And now I can add the Apollo IE to this list. Now that we're down at the coast, the road is going to open up again. So I point the wheels straight and open the taps. This is one of the greatest sounds ever known to mankind. And we come to a stop, which means we have a red light. The advantage of a red light is it means that we're going to be able to accelerate away from said red light. So long as I don't mess up the clutch, of course. I just, like, this is, this is the stuff of dreams. This, driving this here right now, while it's a challenge and a workout on the left leg, it's also an experience unlike any other in terms of just taking it all in 
it's an attack on the senses because there's so much going on, but in a way that's immensely positive because you're feeling it, you're feeling it all. You feel completely part of everything as we delicately get moving and then we say goodbye to everybody that just went past. going on. I am completely and utterly and totally lost in all of this. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm thinking. Resist the temptation to lift the uh, pedal too soon. anywhere which to be honest is quite an achievement we have managed to have a whole lot of fun and the craziest of crazy experiences do you know what I might just leave it there for the moment 
just chill and get some air. Ooh. Parked up then, or at least parked temporarily here. Oh, I, I don't really know how to put this into words. I was just speaking to the guys about what it's like when this accelerates past them. And they were basically saying it's like an F1 car. It's ignorant was the term that was used because it's so wild and so aggressive. It's, it's unlike anything you really know otherwise. I mean, you just look at this. Nicknamed the Carbon Dragon. They're all nicknamed the something dragon, depending on the color scheme, all 10. This is just... I've, as I've said during this video, as experiences go, it's unlike anything else. It's something you can drive on the road that's that intense, that involving, that crazy, that, quite frankly, I don't even have the words for it. I don't know how to describe it other than basically what you've heard during this video. I mean, just look at the thing. Look at this. Look at everything. Look at all that's going on with it and then that engine and gearbox, and that does not make for an everyday thing. This is not a car you ever want to drive if there's traffic or if you're not in the right mind frame for it because you have to completely engage the mindset. You have to be completely like, this is what I'm doing today, this is the car I'm driving, and probably an early run on a Sunday morning. But once you're on the move, the sounds, and inside it's the straight cut kind of gearbox noise that's overwhelming as opposed to so much the exhaust sound it's just so loud but i know from experience hearing it from the outside it's just the most full-on v12 sound that you could possibly imagine a 6.3 liter v12 a familiar capacity around wonderful cars but today being here with team carnage and driving hyper nfts apollo ie I might have struggled a little bit with the clutch at first and I definitely should have tried it inside here a few times rather than straight out onto the road when you have everything else going on. But once you've got it and once you're driving, there's nothing more to say. It wins at everything. Post a car for a generation, I hope, this thing. The Apollo IE is just mega. Just mega in every possible way. That's it for now though. Thank you very much for watching guys. Do check out Dean and the team over at the Carnage channel. And of course, give Hyper NFT a follow for the opportunity to share this drive with you. Today has been special. I'll see you again very soon. Cheers.